Okay, so your stance at the hub is way too wide. It almost looks like you're going to sumo wrestle someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Okay, so you know the piece really well, and you're going to drive this thing home no matter what, <laughs> right? So the energy that you're putting forth is great. We want to bottle it, and we could, you know, heat the earth with it, okay? So that's really spectacular. I think your face at times was really good and helped portray what you wanted. To me, the biggest dilemma is you feel like you need to hammer every beat down, like you're putting down a floor. They don't need anything. Could you just start the piece for me? Okay, here we go. Yeah. And they'll play it better this way. Okay. They don't need this piece is like, with all due respect to Randall, who I love, this is like a Snickers bar. It's sure. just sugar in the veins. It's fun, it's happy, it's celebratory, and they need us like a hole in the head. So <laughs> because they don't need us, we can get out of the way. Sure. The one good thing about having all that energy was you kept them from slowing down, especially in the softer spots. Mm -hmm. That's good. But other than that, I just don't think they need it. Okay. And there's so much whipping, and the pattern is odd because you're kind of doing I was standing behind you. It's kind of like this, sure. and I couldn't figure out where the beats were. Okay. So if you can think about the fact that all they really need of the seven, they have, there's a short, short, long, mm -hmm. okay? All they need is this talk, this talk, very little. This rebound is the kicker. That's what's going to keep it long because right now they're doing almost a six and three quarters, eight instead of a seven. Sure. So if, just start it for me, please. I'm going to do it wrong and see if you can see the difference. Okay, here's the beginning. Uh, start actually, uh, go to um, three, measure three. We'll start on three. Okay, here's three. Okay, and. <laughs> Do 
you hear how it's not square? It's not. Okay, now this is what you did. Do it again. See all that motion? They can't find it no matter what. So what we want to do is just show the difference. All they need is the distinction between the short and the long. So here we go one more time. And. That's all they need. And then, then you're free. Once you've done that, you can show the frame size. So there's your forte. And just have that deep da da deep da D, da, da, D, and that'll keep that scary. Sure. Then you can attend to the cool stuff, like the tuba. Bum, 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 beam. Uh, where is it? That. That's okay. the first cool moment. The second cool moment, when they get soft here, you can do that, that crescendo. All that little detail was lost because you were so worried about beating them into submission with sure. a whip, okay. okay? So start again, and let's do something really cool for the tuba. And then something to show that diminuent, that uh, sudden volume change, that crescendo, and then we'll stop for a second. Okay? Yeah, three. Okay, put your feet together more. You look like you're going to sumo wrestle. Okay, good. Okay, look at the left hand. What does that mean? I do not know. Okay, so either get it. Oh, one thing you did, I think, and I mentioned this to a couple other people. If you're going to put both hands up at your position of rest, sure. you have to start with both. Okay. About three people have done this. Watch. Just don't play. Okay, watch. Or if you're going to put, because heaven forbid they're looking over here, mm -hmm. they're not going to come in. So if you're going to use one, that's fine. If you're going to use both, you have to start with both. Okay, starting. Three. Okay. Okay. Number one, you don't want this. Number two, don't go like this. You know this thing weighs 10 pounds? It does. It's 10 pounds. Okay. To do this, you're going to wear out these little muscles. In addition, you can't move this at the same rate of speed as this, but they're watching your head because it's so unusual. Just do this. Boom. That's all it is. Okay? Try it. Fix that left hand. Just go like this. Like, like this. Just a nice, yeah, just, just docile. Now, both hands prep. It could be less. Okay. This measure, they need the talk. Do you hear that the rhythm's wrong? Mm -hmm. You need to square that off. Start at uh, 30, what is that, 11? 11. Start at 11. Okay, here's 11. Watch. Okay, one more time. Okay, one more time. 11. You're not watching. 11, and... That's all it was. Okay. This makes it so they can't find the ends. Start right there at 11. All they need are four talks to square off that syncopation. Left hand, no index finger. Let's look down over when you get a chance. Again, you're so worried about beating time and mirroring the whole time. You don't need to. So you can have this cool thing, but then it gets softer here. See the diminuendo? I didn't see that. You gotta do that diminuendo. Then here, this, the volume change. See that? It's now softer. We gotta show that. Then when it comes to here, this look at the volume. See it? Mm -hmm. Start right there at 25. Start at 25. Okay, 25. Okay. What's cool here? What's the fun here? Point to something that's cool. The horn part in the tenor sax. Ah, that's boring. That's obvious. What's the cool stuff? Mallet yeah, the Doppler effect. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. That's the cool thing. Here, start. Right there, 25. And. Then you have the same thing. There it is. There it is. And then you can start this thing. Okay? So. The melody is fine, they're going to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. You do that, you do that, and then you do this. They need you, okay? okay? Do that. Stop with all the extra rebound. It's like walking a dog with a leash. You don't want to have that much slack, because all the slack makes it hard to read. Okay, okay. start with it. 25. They don't need the pattern. Look at the left hand. It looks tortured. Relax, just let it go. Let it go. Let it fall. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't use your head on that prep. Here. Oh. Now the xylophone. Now here. Oh! 
on the cornets. Oh. Not the crescendo. What the piano? Show all that cool stuff like the forte pianos, those three forte pianos, the descending D da da da. You went D da da. It goes that way. D da da D da da. Right? Okay. okay. Real quickly, start at. I want to show you what. This is all redundant. Where the heck is that? Forty-one. Go to two before ninety-seven. Real uh, quick, since yeah. I'm getting the shut up sign. <laughs> two before ninety-seven. Look at that left hand. Not so high on the fret. Just trust them? I do. No, you don't. Oh, okay. Does he trust you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Two before 97. I trust you. Don't let me down. 97. <laughs> Two before. And. <laughs> you don't need to beat time the whole time. Okay, so get out of your own way, smile more, have fun. It's a party, it's like a celebration. And fix the left hand. Got it? Promise? Okay, great job. Good morning, Logan. Watch that strident thumb. face, I think it could be even more, ev evokes some feeling, um, either okay, uh, the, the, there's a danger intense, I probably is the word I would think of, but you come up with the word, good, watch that thumb, exactly also you're using an asking hand, that open hand, that invites people to play louder, and I don't think you want that there, and I don't think you need all that whipping, there's a lot of one and, two and, three and, one and, two and, three, it's mostly one and two. You're whipping the rebound. Try not to do this much. I think you're bigger than you need. Still too much talked, I think. And I think it's too big. I just very little motion. Less is better. That's too pointed for this. Watch that subdividing. Now you're not really subdividing. It's what I, I said earlier. Yeah, I call it a nervous hitch. It's that whammy, what it, what it. You don't need it. All they need, what you're trying to do is to get it to have lilt for the 16th. So all they need is just a tuck and very little rebound. Just a tuck and a little bounce would really help. And that's that what you're trying to do with that bounce, I think. Don't rear back, you rear back. Your elbows actually went behind your back. Watch your left hand shakes. Uh, just watch that last couple of measures. See where your hand like splatted and went whack. Hold it up real fast. That usually gets kind of a snap sound. I use that for a pretty shot. Use it here. And then you have a fist. Careful. Mm, careful. It doesn't know what it wants. See, it's bouncing back and forth. It's going from an index finger to a pointed finger to a drooping down to a fist. Careful. Fists over and over again. Really, really um, muted. People ignore them after a little time. Don't subdivide. No need. You're actually lightening up during the pesante. Yeah, by having that and, you're actually doing the opposite of what you want with the pace on. Yeah, you definitely don't need to be managing the eighth. Yeah, by doing, you're, you actually are making them go, by doing the subdivision versus tita, tita, ta. So what you want to do is talk with a lot of gooey rebound. And the gooier your rebound, rather than having the subdivision, the broader that pesante is going to come out. Don't lean forward. Careful the volume here. Change your frame to match the volume. Watch your shape that. You didn't need to beat time there. See, there's a lot of time beating. This piece doesn't need it because one beat out of most measures, um, they don't need a beat at all. Not Think of all the half notes here that have nothing else going on. They really don't need anything more. Or at the very least, a very subtle beat. There's that so weird hand. It's kind of 
uh, Stephen King-like. It's a neutral hand with a thumb up and two fingers dripping, drooping down, so to speak. I want to make sure we don't do that. Can you just slow down here a little bit? We want to probably kind of look at you a little bit. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Doing all right? Doing all right. <laughs> so where we ended there, how was that tempo as compared to the first one you started with? Uh, it was a, it was a lot, lot, lot a bit slower. <laughs> yeah. So we were no. It just I, I, part of what I'm. Uh, you're, lis you're you're listening to them to come to you, and you're waiting for them, and then you're doing the next thing, and that just starts the spiral that does this, um, and so it just gets. Um, there are. You made some some good changes. Generally, I think you're too pointed for the for the at least for the legato that's at the beginning of this tune. And you you end up getting too big too quickly, because okay. uh, you you were kind of a medium size with the with the opening thing and then the cornets come in and you got to the woodwinds and now you're to this and you're a big guy but you got to a point where you're doing this and you were to this before we ever got to large big quarter notes and you had no place to go so you started coming back behind you and so I would I would temper that a lot there's there's, there's just way too much motion. Um, let's just go from the beginning. Are you intending a a release in the fourth full bar? No. Okay, so if you're not, you showed one. Okay. If the the minute you break a sustain, it becomes a release. Uh, so if you want, if you so m meld one and two, and just let three lift out of it Warning. without without making any break kind of a, you, you do any kind of a circular motion there, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna cut off. Uh, just with me, if you would, please. Much better. Beginning. <laughs> okay. So, the, uh, but but what you, you ended up doing is da da. Uh, the, uh, the minute you do any kind of a, 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 a bump there, it's they're going to release it. Cool. So the other thing you did uh, in, uh, here is you melded, but it's like a two-bar meld, and the trumpets had no idea where beat two was, yeah, okay. so they couldn't come in on beat three, and so it ended up being a ragged entrance. So if you're going to meld that, that's fine, and even if you go past the downbeat, that's fine, but you need to give them a prep, then, you know, be two, da, da, you know, you need to give them something to springboard off of so they know where the time is. Cool. Try it from the beginning if you would, please. There you go. Yeah, that was good for that. Okay, so, but but no, but you shorted them by at least a beat. Okay. So the key with melding anything is that we have to keep time going. Uh, de da one two three one two da, da especially with something that's this. If, if the minute you that and that's the danger with melding. Melding is great for sustain and that kind of stuff, but we have to keep the time going. We have to at least keep the internal pulse going. Um, your left hand is still doing this as a default kind of thing. And so this is a variation on what we've been talking about with the sideways hand. But you've got the finger splayed okay. uh, a little bit. And so anything that's, you know, this, there, th this as an effect will get you. But this is not that. Because uh, this is like Freddy Krueger and <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, is not, this, this um, is not a slasher film. Um, so I would, I would uh, you know, uh, let it be relaxed. And there are other other places in the tune where you would on beat three in the three you would come up in a fist and you'd come up in a fist and you'd come up in a fist. So I there so th there are some uh, uh, ingrained kind of things that I don't think you realize you're doing. So when you watch your tape, kind of look at what your left hand is doing. Is it a, d did I intend to do that? Is there a reason behind what I did with my left hand there? Um, and a lot of cases I don't think there is. Um, Let's just try from the beginning. I want to get into a little bit, uh, uh, get to one more thing before we before we run out of time here. So even 
to open your hand a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do the sustain there, yeah. And that's good too. Yeah. So get again, be small. We don't need to be. Good. Yeah, so we don't we don't need to we don't need to probably be any larger. We've got a few more folks in at this point, but we don't need to really be we don't need to grow yet. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about just briefly is once the once the brass come in, what's what's new here with the brass? Are you talking about yeah, the musically, what 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 does Holst add to it? We've still got the melody. Yeah, well, the, the hemiola, but it's also th there uh, harmonically. It's suspension resolution kind of right. stuff in the second cornet. So we want to probably, to me, I would I would pay all kinds of attention to whoever's playing second cornet. Dun, da, da, dee, da, dee, da, because we we hear that later on in the clarinets. They pick the he's 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 introducing us to the building blocks that are making up the piece right. subtly, and then reusing them for other things as we go on. So, uh, the just a note. Um, Again, well, I, I, I do want to get to a point where it's, let's go from B, please. So when we get to the variation after B, which is the pickup to 57, there is no reason to, no, just quarter notes along there, I think is more than adequate, just good heavy. We want to be heavy, stay in the quarter note as opposed to mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, it just the, it, it gets in the way. So let's go at B, please. Right on it is fine. Let it be. Okay. We're almost out of time. So with so in this section, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about the broken up melody? Or are you thinking about the running sixteenth eighth kind of things? Or you broken up melody heavy? Okay. So ah uh, ah. Uh, Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, is, you know, because time is going to go. So if you, if you want to, if you want to go after that, that's fine. If you want to go after the melody, ba ba da ba di ba da ba di ba da ba di ba da ba da ba da ba di ba da 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 So you could go after either. We can't show a legato and a staccato at the same time. It, it's a mush. It's, 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 uh, it's not possible to do both. So it, you could just just downward motions for each one of their things. Let's try that, please, with B, and then we get into the next section, and we'll be done. Yeah. Just down, 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 down. Okay, yeah, so by getting out of that, we want to get back down because it's back down to chamber music and we want to kind of get out of the way of that and let them just kind of meander their way through the next kind of thing. Sure. So what you, th the thoughts you've got are good. It's just kind of executing and, and, okay. and kind of staying out of your own way a little bit. Great. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's not forbidden to do that beginning. We just were suggesting it early on. I do personally want to start at 43. That's fine. Yeah, no, no, I didn't mean you had to on the floor. Really? After that impassioned speech? Okay. All right. The truth is, we should have made you do the first half because that's the hardest part to conduct, but that's okay. No, you didn't know. Okay, it looks very vertical to me. I love the size of the frame, but it's way too vertical for this lyrical piece. I don't like the left hand that far in front. And watch the fingers. The shape of the left hand is constantly changing. Good. Not over your head. You need to be much wider in frame. Your frame is extremely vertical. I think I mentioned this the first thing. I'm not sure. Um, use your face for all of this. If you're going to do a subdivision, the first moment of the subdivision, has to be extremely cut short with the rebound to show them this. 
what was that? I'm not sure that was. Okay, don't let your left hand get out of the frame. I would turn to the piano so you don't have to make such a big frame. Did you see you went like this with your lifting, went really wide. That shows a big frame. Just turn towards the piano, then it can be smaller. Watch that left thumb that's striding. Make sure the left hand knows what it wants to do and why it's doing it. You haven't changed your face, I don't think. And you've got to change it. It's a great resting face. And you're doing a wonderful job of not being in the score. And um, I, was just gonna say, I got caught off guard because the second I said that, you looked down for a while. So try not to look down too much. Um, and you're doing a great job of looking at the different constituencies. I just don't think you're using your face to show it. Subdivision, I think it had way too much stuff going on. Subdivisions can be very dangerous. It's like driving a car on ice. You want to make sure you're very clear with the amount of top and less rebound. Now, I like the fact that you got wide there, but you also got really high. We never, ever want to go over our head uh, as a default. Do it occasionally, it's fine. But over our head is very weak, and we don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, how do you feel? Pretty okay. Okay, uh, I think you know the thing really well. Mm -hmm. The beginning of it from 43, you didn't look down much at all. Okay. At one point, and I was commending you on how great it was, and I said, wow, you haven't looked down, it's amazing. And then you look down for a couple of minutes four times in a row. Sorry. <laughs> that, no, 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 that's fine. That's the reality of life. As I said the other day, there are times when I'll stare at a score for two measures because I'm petrified of those two measures. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with that as long as that's not the default. So that's great. I have no problem with that because most of the time you looked. You did an amazing job of targeting your eyes to whom it was going to go. Unbelievable. Couldn't have been better. The problem with it is you didn't use any weight expression. expression. Ah. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to start at, uh, where's the spot? Uh, ah, bo, bo, do, do, 40, is it 40? Where's 43? I need Second. my score. Right. I can't tell anybody else's score. Okay, good. So we're going to start at, <laughs> ah, we're going to start at 68, and you're going to use only your face. Okay? I'll start them for you. Okay? 68, play what his face says. If he has that face, that neutral face, play really soft and without expression. If he gives you a face, you play like he says. Okay, here we go. 68. No beating time. You are all way too nice. <laughs> Why did you play the first measure? He looked bored, didn't he? I love you dearly, but don't be boring. Go. Here, and. You have to promise, raise your right hand, I solemnly swear, swear, tomorrow, tomorrow. When, you conduct, when I conduct, you'll have five different facial expressions that you can sell. I'll have five different okay, facial expressions. you heard him. <laughs> You've got to have more faces, sure. okay? 68, with the face, okay, with the face. No, no, uh, and hands, go ahead. Uh, sure. No, 68, right on 68. You have to sell the story. Okay. You've got to tell them what it should look like, what it should sound like, what it should feel like. They should be crying just watching you, okay? Okay, okay that's first. Second, I think I told you this the first day. The frame you're conducting looks like this. It's very narrow on the bottom. Didn't I tell you that the first day? I was too wide the first day. <laughs> oh, then it wasn't you. I remember holding a score up. Okay, uh, I thought it was you, I'm sorry. Okay, your frame, oh wow, you went too far the other direction. Your frame looks like this. Okay. It's got a short bottom and very, very high. Sure. Remember that the, when you go over your head, which I would do very sparingly, okay. it's weakness and it's, it looks very odd. Conducting up here just doesn't work most of the time. Okay. Now, occasionally for our own soul, it's fine. But generally, you don't want to have big things like this and you don't want to rear back. I want you to explore more of this frame. 
because I felt like in the beginning it was all very up and down and very little width. Okay. And this piece is all about horizontal and rebound. Sure. So I want you to start right at 43 again. Don't put the score away. Okay. 43 again. And I want you to do it very horizontal. Okay? Okay. And use a face. I don't care what it is. You can look mad. You can be happy. You can look like you're going to wet yourself. You can do anything you want, but you've got to make a face. <laughs> and it can't be a smile. wider okay okay face started that was good okay. watch this left hand it goes through about 50 different permutations of, of shapes okay. you started like this I'm not sure if you really want to do that remember that's the asking hand so why don't you start it with the, just a closed hand and have this and just start there then you can start to do this as they start to rise and then for the horns, etc. Okay. But I wouldn't do that to start with, because if that becomes your default, you're giving away your asking hand. Right. Okay, start again, 43. Think wide, don't think up and down. And I'd level your hands more. Got it. Okay, I think that would be good. Okay, now what's the starting volume? This piano. Okay, so about there, sure. good. Face wide, wider, wider. Okay. The problem with a three pattern mm -hmm. is since it came from a dance, okay, it started with all the dances that are in triple time, mm -hmm. you know, the, the minuet, the jig, the cerebon, okay. The problem with it is it has a lot of density on the downbeat. Okay. So we get bang, whoop, whoop, which is fine in a minuet because that's how you dance a minuet. The problem in a piece like this, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So I would convert it to a triangle that goes like this, one, two, three, because then you get the same lilt on three, but you're taking away the impact on one. Okay, okay, can you try that? It looks like you're conducting a dance right now. Here we go. Oh! Not too high. Okay, okay. You saw it. We weren't even at the climax of the piece, and you were up here. Yep. Okay, good. So make sure you don't do that. That's kind of the idea. Figure out what you want to do to do that. Next thing is, when you subdivide, you've got to stop the first rebound from happening. Because okay. you went one and two, and all of a sudden it was this giant sea of motion. It was very hard to follow. They stuck together because they're such good musicians, but they didn't do it with you. Okay? So start right there. Could you start at 49, please? That's where you subdivided, right? Yes. 49. 49. Play what he does. Just stare at him, please, and do exactly what he does. Okay. You can't stop yourself, can you? Do you see do your th beats three and four and weren't with you? Yeah. One and two was pretty good. Right. Okay, that's better, but still this. Would you do it one more time? Just on this spot? And. So it's very little. See it? Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. One more time. And. Ah. That way I can, now I took my time. You could control it as much as you want in that regard. Do it one more time. But control each eighth. Don't think of them as a unit. They're not pairs. They're individual strikes. One and two. Or rebound on that. Three. Better. That's it. Good. Now get there. Could you go three before 50 so we can get into the subdivision? Three before 50. Thank you, folks. It's one thing to prep by opening your mouth and giving the illusion of breathing, which I love because I don't like to make the sound, but the illusion's great, but you don't want to conduct with your head. If you go, they're following your head, they're not following you. Okay? Left hand shape. That's better. That one. Ah, wait, wait, wait. The second biggest moment in the climax, and you conducted it like this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, that's not the image. Okay, now, what are we missing at 50? You got the big climax and the decrescendo. What are you missing? Nope. Uh, that part you conducted beautifully. There's a piece of blue corn, buried treasure, 
in that spot? Um, 50. Four times. So it's fortissimo, timpani, forte, bass drum, okay. et cetera. Then finally the last one's marimba, okay? You've got to give. Now, I'd made it overt. I would make it much smaller because he's so good and he's with you. Right. Okay, try it. 50. Ooh. Diminuendo, diminuendo. Now him. Bigger on that one. Now. Okay, that's the idea. So you want to control each facet of that. You want the big picture of that, but then the little micro of this. Now, I think it could be smaller because they're so good, they're just going to do it with this. But you have to show it each time, okay? So the big thing is your face. Second thing is control the motions, but make more of the frame this way rather than vertical in a piece like this. Okay. Now, if you were doing impact, I'd say this vertical stuff is great, okay? Great job. Some wonderful things. that you bring. It's really dignified, has a lot of poise, has a lot of uh, impassioned. Uh, it's kind of almost evangelical, like I want to follow him. Um, but your face looks, I don't want to say boring, it looks non-committal. Maybe that's the best word. It looks kind of disconnected from the music. And, and I'm trying to look, I put my hand up, and I'm not looking, to, I've locked your head. So I'm just watching your hands and your body language, and it's awesome. It's, I, I'd follow you to heck and back. But you're, when I like lift my hand and I see your face, it just, it's such a great resting face. Your natural resting face is wonderful. And your eye contact as you move around is spectacular. Um, I think you know it cold, you know who you're looking for and what you're trying to do. Um, I think you just have to be more inviting of the face and more, uh, not, not a bit, it, well, inviting and elastic and, and con conveying of things. Um, go for a little bit more detail of the little nuanced things, the little crescendo, the little changes of harmony, whatever it happens to be that you think are important, the passing tones, and, and bring them out even more. I think there's too much sameness. Oh, that was lovely. Don't rear back, though. Nice face. That was good. Change your, uh, even if it's just opening your mouth some, I think that's the key to what's troubling me a little bit. Uh, bring the foot, square your feet off. You're leaning, you're leaning and bending knees and stuff because your feet aren't square. And you're coming forward and back because of that. Uh, uh, I think I'm onto something. Open your mouth a little bit. Just open like you're naturally breathing. That's what it is. That's what's troubling me. It's the open mouth. I know it's, it sounds like I'm making a big deal, but you're doing so many things so terrifically. I think if you could just do that, that'd be terrific. Um, because even when you do make your faces, you don't change your mouth as much. Um, good. The other thing was you were rearing back in the big climactic moment. Uh, I think too much. Good. Make sure you control the release. Yeah, the, the, the talked will help control it, but it's not stretching the beat long enough to, to function. Let me see if I can say that in a different way. You need to stretch the quarter, then cut it off, um, and then you have your pickup. Um, I, I don't think you're controlling the quarter note enough, so I would use the left hand to shape the control of that quarter, the release one, uh, and con kind of control it with the left hand on, on its release, then go into the, the acceleration for the pickup. Basically, you have to end each of those quarters on beat three. Now, I think they should end long. I guess one could argue this is a little short. It could be short. Good. Again, open your mouth. Even if it's just like, like you're breathing. It's more like a concerned face a little bit. I'm going to try to get you next.
yeah, I got you to do it. Just that subtle little change of opening your mask, unpursing your lips, that tiny little moment. I, I, want to try, I didn't mean to bother you, but I wanted to have you do it so you could see it on tape. It makes an enormous difference. Remember, almost everyone in this room needs to breathe. Well, everyone needs to breathe um, to live, but they also need to breathe to play, whether they're percussionists or anyone else. And I think that kind of belies that when you had your mouth closed. So, okay, I'll stop harping on that. Good, feet squared off. I want to see your toes squared off tomorrow. That one foot in front of the other changes the orientation of the way you move your body and does a lot of extra moving as well. Nice job. Some really, really good stuff, a lot of progress. Good morning. Nice job. There's, uh, your face is really nice. Your, your eye contact, your eyes are great. Your mouth makes you look concerned. Okay. <laughs> oh, like, 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 because you're not furrowing your eyebrows. Your, your eyebrows are up. You're, and you're, you're looking at folks, but you're, it's, it's static, static a little bit. Okay. When you smile, you open up, yes, when you, when you smile, especially for a piece like this, which is all pleasant, and this is, I think this is sunshine and, and uh, dew on the flowers, and, and so this is, uh, th this, is, this is the antithesis of anything to, this is all cares are going away, is I think what this piece is. And, and so I'd love to see a little bit more of that in your face. You yeah. just, it, your resting face is doesn't, doesn't communicate that necessarily. Right. Um, you s the first f half or more of the tune was very much the same size of pattern. Okay. And then you towards the end, there was a section you did start to get small. You brought it in. It was very nice. Uh, and then it, get, get, then it kind of went back to your default a little bit, and it got away from you. Okay. Uh, just a, a note at the end. Yeah. Um, I don't know that it's ne necessary to give the last downbeat necessarily, you know, because it's just these whole notes. You got the right. it's right. just it would be more each attack, trumpet, trumpet, and then the, because from here I it's contemplated stopping here. Yeah, yeah. from there it's just it's uh, there's nothing happening from there. There's nothing yeah. that needs a yeah. new ictus to you know th that it's just the growth from there to the end. Um, Let's go back to the beginning sure. a little bit. So I'd like to see you again. I'd like to see you smooth this. There's and your 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 pattern is it's it's it's, it's okay as a legato. I like to see it smooth out a lot. Gotcha. Yeah. The what I was talking about with with Chase the the idea of resistance, the stick following the hand and st and and the the distance you're traveling for beat, prepping beat one you know, beat four is really hot and you're, you're, you're a big guy. So you're moving a lot. I think you know, r limit that to three, four inches and uh, with, with your size, there's also something in your pattern that I saw later on. There's a, there's a little whip thing that you do beat three yep. to beat four, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, I, I'm exaggerating, but you come past and then come back and it's kind of a shimmy okay. and it, and it gets in the way, it gets way in the way of, of this. So if we can just kind of, you understand what I'm saying with yep. this? Yeah, let's just try from the beginning if you would, please. If we can get smooth your hands out, just let it connect. Okay, so with 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 that is already not necessary. Yeah, just okay. just go outside. Uh, just you know, just just a sideways motion rather than a pop out, please. Nice. Yeah, that's much nicer. Yes, yes. Very much nicer, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. Does that, f that feel, does that feel different? Yes. Yeah, no, that's, d does that look better? Yeah, much more, much more in, in, in what the style of the piece is, I think. I think it could be smaller. Because we're piano or mezzo piano, so yeah, we don't need to be super big. Okay, let's go to nine, please. Pick okay. up into nine. What's different here? Um, we're adding pressure. And we're adding every pressure in the world. Sure. So we've got a bunch, bunch more folks that are in, but what's different here? What, what haven't we seen figure-wise here? Mezzo forte broadly. Sure, mezzo forte and broadly. But we have in oh, the, dotted the, the dotted quarter, the, the, the dotted quarter eighth thing uh, that leads to a suspension resolution thing. So that's the kind of thing that, uh, that maybe go after, because the melody is the same. It's just more folks, different folks doing it. 
maybe just a little bit of, of emphasis towards these people that are doing this motion that we haven't had before. Let's have to pick up in a nine. Same kind of style, but maybe just a little bit of emphasis, a little encouragement to those people who are doing something different. Don't lean in. Good, and it doesn't need to be every time. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it doesn't need to be every time, but at least the first time, show them some love. Hey, I understand you. Yeah, it, it, this is the new thing. And the the just as an aside for everybody, the the act of queuing is not is not just to assist an entrance. Would you agree with that? We're also communicating our intent that this is our this is where my intention is right now. This is what's important to me right now, and that's a communication to not only the ensemble but to an audience. This is maybe what you want to listen for right now. This is what's this is what's important to me at this moment in time. Uh, another another term for this might be ear mapping, mapping our ears to what we believe is important. Um, so it's not just to it's not just for the players that are doing it. It's for everybody else to understand that that's really where my attention is right th right at this particular moment in time. So think about it that way. And it's a lot about what, what's new here. Um, and we're out of time almost. <laughs> So let's do the let's do 18 like we were doing and see if how you can adjust this to reflect the 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 pulse kind of thing that we were talking about. Yeah, pick up an error, pick up an 18, just for a minute here. We're, we're about out of time. So okay, yeah. So we don't want to we, we don't want to uh, uh, we don't want to get into that just. Just more of a just lean into each beat a little bit. Can I can I touch you? Yep. Let's just do this, please. In down. Yeah. Does that, does that make sense? The idea of just and then and then you can within that then manage or help them manage the right. crescendo, day crescendo that we didn't really pay much of attention right. to. But okay, very nice. Cool. Thank you. Nice job. to match the left hand when you show a diminuendo. Your left hand shows them a diminuendo, but your right hand can be pretty much the same size. Don't flap your hand. Don't, don't, don't snap it open. Just kind of gently turn it for those percents. Anyway, what I'm saying is, right now, I'm going to kind of rush I'm not sure if it's the case right now. I'm not exactly with them. I'm watching the bits very carefully. And they're not only some of these, some of these internal bits specifically. Two or one. Good smile. You open your mouth a little bit, that would be more fun. Uh, 
Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I think it's just a little thing. It's just way too much trick down most of the time. All you need is a little bit of top. Don't rear back for that. Uh, action. Yeah, watch the hand there and see if you can do it a little more again, a little more naturally. It's, uh, it's kind of abrupt. Good, here, all they need is top. All they need is just top, 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 top. Oh, see that? What did you do there? You added like a jump to beat or something? I'm not sure what that was. All they need is a little bit of talk. Way too much room. Love how you know the piece. Don't, don't bend on your knees. You know, let the knees buckle. Uh, show that game. Uh, 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 just like you gotta show those one big piano. Like you gotta show that. Shut those up. Okay. You're ahead. Don't add an extra beat there. You're doing something funky on two. I can't quite tell what it is. It's an extra motion. Super piano, more in prep, more pop, before the beat. No, the head of it. Um, I love how you know it so well. I love how you're going for it. You're making it up. Your elbow's full. Now, see that throwing the left hand that way? It was really working. Great. But watch the release. Make sure you get there in time. Just watch the, watch the subdivision. But, uh, much less rebound okay. for everything. Try to use less of the. Um, How'd that feel? Less of the rebounds yeah. and keep the talks in time. Uh, you a little more prep of things. Are, are uh, follow through with them. Some of them you, you had planned uh, and kind of had them abandoned, uh, uh, like those to be and stuff. More. Uh, but okay. with some and great detail, some yeah, wonderful attitude. More. You really projected even confidence. Watched, That's why they clapped so much. And I think they really felt like you were in control. Just don't let don't let the tempo get better better of you. In an effort to keep it fast, don't let it get sloppy. Okay. Some great things. Keep up the wonderful work. And it's and it's fine, and you've got a good, nice smile. But there are some oohs and ahs and ooh and and changes of not only facial expression, but you know, just like when someone says what? I mean, there's so, there's something else going on there that's n it's not only facial expression, but it's also uh, move uh, in that direction. But the, the hands, I think, are very good. Once in a while, your seven four is not reliable. Okay. One and two and three and and one and two and three and and one and two and three and and one. I think it's because it, you're going uh, uh, one and two and three and 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 now you've got to get a long direction after you've uh, instead of going one two three and and one and two and three and and one and two and three and and one. If you could get and not put yourself so out of position okay. in to for your return, uh, how would you say that, Peter? Wiggle on two. Let's try doing this together. Just, just, just uh, with, with, with just wrist instead of uh, shoulder is the slowest one. Elbow next. Wrist is next. And and fingers. Uh, this is a so. Let's ready, ready. And I think I'm getting there before you are. Okay. And I think mine's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be up there and you'd be down. Here. So, so try this again. Ready, ready, and. So if you're going to go farther away, you almost have to cheat and be on your way to one okay. prior to the time. You don't go one and two and three and 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 oops one. So if you go one and two and three and and one and two and three and and one, maybe not quite make quite such a journey on your upward move on three. That's uh, that happened several times okay. in the piece. Um, I, I made some other comments quickly as best I could. Uh, what went? What happened at 104? That that measure looked like it needed more of you to do something better than you oh did, and I, I don't remember. Completely missed the 4-4 four four pattern there. The switch. Oh, uh, that could have been it. Yep. Okay, yeah. let's let's start at 97. And at 97, did you feel that there was a difference of speed there than what you did pre prior to that time? Okay, so make sure you don't you haven't.
practiced this last part at 97 mm -hmm. a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So when you go back to the beginning of the piece, when it's not that tempo, right. you, you've left yourself no place to go. Right. Uh, here's 97. Um, you can do two bars before. No, we've already got deafening over here in the percussion set. Okay, <laughs> here's 97. I th that's a little trick. And I think I, I, when, there's, when there's this kind of marking, staccato, staccato line, staccato, staccato line, I, I see a lot of arms sometimes. If you move the arm too much, you're it's hard to get back to where you were. Gotcha. One more time. Sure. Then we got to go. Think now, think now. Here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, five. Okay, uh, okay. I know you'd like to finish the piece, but we're out of time. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. Thank you.